One of the most overlooked segments in the local car industry is the crossover segment. Now, an average crossover costs about 1.5 million pesos. And for that amount of money, you can get a bigger SUV, which is body on frame, or you can get a seven-seater that costs much less. So why then would you pay the same amount for something much smaller? Well, that's what we're here to find out today by taking a closer look at the Subaru XV. The Subaru XV is a prime example of a crossover because it shares the same platform as its cousin, the Subaru Impreza. And what that means is you're going to get car-like driving experience with the benefits of a greater ride height because basically this is a sedan on stilts. Now we'll talk about what that translates to as far as driving pleasure is concerned. But before we do that, let's take a closer look at the exterior and interior of the Subaru XV. Outside, the latest XP may share the same silhouette as the previous model, but do know that this has been completely redesigned using Subaru's global platform, which means it is more rigid and has better energy absorption than the previous model. The character lines of the XV are now more aggressive and give the vehicle a sharper look without going over the top. There is a fine line between being mundane and looking outright hideous, and Subaru has managed to strike the balance there quite well. Stepping inside the Subaru XV, you're greeted with a very well laid out dash. And one thing to note is that this is the base model and it does not feel dull or boring in here. You get heaps of toys like cruise control, buttons for your phone, an infotainment system. Now compared to the higher end models, the screens that you find on the center of the dashboard and in the instrument cluster aren't colored but still gives you heaps of useful information. Looking at the materials used here, you'll find that the plastics aren't that scratchy. They're kind of soft, even on the sides. Your touch points for your arms are also soft. The only scratchy bits are actually at the bottom of the door panels. Overall, it's a very well-equipped, well-thought-out interior. And it's something you wouldn't mind spending hours in. Simply sitting here already tells me that the drive is something to look forward to because you have great visibility. Plus, it's really easy to find the ideal driving position because of multiple adjustments with the seats and the steering wheel. You get reach and rake adjustments. So, if we're looking forward to the drive, enough of this mumbo jumbo, let's go ahead and drive. Okay, driving the Subaru XV. What you immediately notice when you get behind the wheel of this thing is how responsive the steering is. One flick makes the car react. So this car's strongest suit has to be its handling because this thing grips corners like it's on rails. And what allows it to do that is the fact that the steering response is so precise. Plus, it has what Subaru calls active torque vectoring. And what that does is it applies light brake pressure to the wheel that's in the inner circle. It allows you to tackle the curve with more precision and it feels so much more fun to drive. Now, aside from that, this also has VDC or vehicle dynamics control. And that works with the four wheel drive system and the boxer engine to allow you to maintain your path when driving. And all put together, it makes for a really sensational drive. Okay, so I think now is a good time to talk about the vehicle's transmission. And as some of you may already know, this comes with a CVT. Now, a lot of gearheads don't like CVTs because it makes the engine rev out before the car gains any momentum. And that kills the driving experience because it makes the car sound faster than it's actually going. Fortunately though, the Subaru XV comes with pedal shifters. And what that does is it emulates a manual transmission. And I say emulate because you all know that this doesn't have any gears. But 
let me demonstrate what that looks like right now. See, I'm shifting it to second, artificial second, and it really feels like a manual transmission. This is actually gonna change the way I feel about CVTs in general. It's that good. So overall, this thing is really easy to drive. It doesn't really take that much getting used to and you immediately feel like you can take this anywhere. And this is really gonna suit your active lifestyle because of its driving dynamics. So well done, Subaru. Okay, so just a quick recap on the Subaru XV. Again, if you're in the market for a new SUV and you can live without a third row, then I strongly urge you to consider the Subaru XV. It has so much to offer in terms of driving dynamics. The handling, how precise and quick the steering response is, is something that would elevate your driving experience to a different level. Um, aside from that, uh, there's heaps of features like active torque vectoring, vehicle dynamics control. It, it helps you become a better driver. And if, if you're not too keen on the driving experience, if all you want from a good drive is a light power steering, good visibility, then you can look beyond what the Subaru XP has to offer in terms of driving experience and look at the other goodies, the convenience features that it has to offer, such as cruise control. It has hill launch assist, automatic climate control. There's heaps of goodies, even on the base model. And the best part about it is the vehicle isn't too big, and yet it allows you to take the car anywhere because you get a four -wheel drive, an all-wheel drive system with x -Mode. So as far as space is concerned, uh, the trunk will give you 385 liters of space. There's adequate room for five folks. And if, if you need to seat seven people, then you're gonna have to look elsewhere. But the compromise there may be the day-to-day -day driving experience. So keep in mind that hauling is in everything and driving doesn't have to be such a chore. So I'll leave you with that thought. Thank you for watching Bearing. If you've come this far and you feel that you haven't wasted about eight minutes of your life, please like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.